Do you feel the pull? Hey guys, the Iris guy here, back to video. So first of all guys, click this red colored subscribe button so you get subscribed to my channel. And once you're subscribed, click the bell button next to it so you get notified every time I upload a video. So guys, let's start the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom intros for your YouTube videos. So first of all guys, you head to this uh, uh, website which will be also linked down in the description. It's called panzoid.com. Guys, I recommend using this website on Google Chrome as it's the best browser to use and not on any other browser. So guys, now you select the template which you would like. Then you click it. I'll be choosing this epic orange one. You click open in clip maker. It'll take a while to load. Once it's loaded, guys, you can choose any of these templates here on the left side if you like them. To preview the template, you're going to click this play button and this watch button. So as you can see guys, the template which I have chosen is like this. And if you like it guys, then you set the time to 9 seconds as is the preferred timing for any intro. Then you click enter. So guys, now the intro timing has been set to 9 seconds. After you go to this cube right here guys. And now guys, you go to the thing where it says name. So as you can see, it says group text and name right here. So guys, here you click the text and here you change the name. You change the name to the name which you would like. And then click enter and do the same for the second one right here once you're done doing that click enter again and then you're done guys this text right here should be changed to the name that you like now guys you want to change any settings like this this or any of these then you can change them you can even add your personal music you can select the audio file from right here by clicking select and as you can see you click select you can also do this guys i'm using a mac that doesn't mean it only works in mac it works in any laptop now guys, once you're done doing all the settings that I told you, then you head over here and say extreme quality, which is a pretty slow, so I, uh, I recommend using good quality. You click good quality and you change to say, uh, the, the dot, like the file which you would like for me is dot mkv. Guys, dot mkv is not support on everything, so I recommend using a video converter to convert it into mp4. And guys, then you say start video rendering. I'm gonna start video rendering guys, that will take a long time. As you can see, it's the time is 3 minutes. It depends on how long the video is, uh, how long the intro is. So yeah, as you can see guys, it's rendering the video. Once you finish rendering the video, it'll ask you where to save it or you can send it to your mail. Guys, if you have any other doubt regarding this, do not hesitate to contact me down below in the comments. And I'll respond to you as quickly as I can guys. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment below.